Okay, this is big. We're going to talk about Lexus's biggest screw up on the GX 550 here. Now, pay attention. This guy is going to test drive the Lexus GX 550 Premium Edition. Pay careful attention to what he says. Pay attention. It actually doesn't feel as sharp dynamically as the previous Gen GX. It feels a little bit heavier, a little bit softer. It's a bit more body roll from the front end. But I'm not as blown away by the dynamics, at least at lower speeds, as I was with the GX460. And there it is. You heard directly from this viral YouTuber uh, what I've been saying since Lexus announced this GX550 about a year ago. And that is they screwed up. Their biggest screw up is they left out EKDSS on all models of the gx uh, 550 except for the overtrail trim so the trim he's driving now and the trim most people are going to get they left out the amazing EKDSS system and that's bad now if you don't know what the amazing EKDSS system is that Lexus decided to leave out it's essentially a sway bar disconnect here you see it on the GX 550 over trail and it disconnects the front and rear sway bar now more importantly and getting back to what the test driver just talked about here you can see it's uh, on the left here free to articulate but when it's locked and we're going to see it again in a moment when the sway bar is locked when you're on road it actually here it is locked it will give you an incredibly firm on road feel in other words the body roll will be completely eliminated this in the past has been a gx staple the previous generation the gx 460 had the kdss system standard on all trim models and it allowed you to do what you're seeing here which is off-road you get articulation maximum articulation but more importantly and getting back again to what this viral youtuber is complaining about once you take this system on road you get an amazing flat level feel in other words body roll is substantially eliminated when you are on road so you heard straight from one of the earliest test drivers of this GX 550 that he is not impressed with the GX 550 premium edition and that it's given him more body roll that it feels heavier it's not wowing him it's not impressing him like the previous GX 460 did and that is a direct result of Lexus going against their Kaizen principle that is continual improvement and instead doing anti Kaizen and completely omitting this amazing EKDSS system on all GX 550 trims except for the Overtrail Plus which you see here now in my opinion this is one of the biggest mistakes Lexus has made with the GX 550 and could ever make because part of the standard Lexus GX experience in the past going way back to the Lexus GX 470 was that it came standard on all trims with KDSS so on road like you see here the sway bar is locked up and as a result of being disconnectable the engineers could essentially add the thickest possible sway bar you can imagine front and rear to this big fat SUV the Lexus GX 460 has the largest diameter sway bars of any SUV in its class in any truck period what that means is on road this thing handles flat like a lotus not literally but it is is amazingly flat as you could imagine it's something you simply have to experience and since Lexus took out that amazing EKDSS system from all of its trims except the Overtrail Plus first time Lexus GX 550 buyers are going to be left with a an experience that is not Lexus GX quality they're going to get forerunner floppiness which is exactly what you hear that youtuber talk about he literally waves his arms in the air as he describes the floppiness of the suspension and the body roll Lexus it seems is counting on that you the consumer are either too stupid to notice uh, EKDSS or you don't care 
But what's ironic is the first thing this driver notices, there he goes waving his hands back and forth. The first thing he notices when getting in this car is this what you see here. This is a huge fail Lexus and I complained about this when it was announced that people are going to get into this uh, supposedly premium and literally premium Lexus GX550 premium trim. They're going to get in. They're not going to go off road with it right away. They're going to get on road. And then as soon as you take it around any, you know, it doesn't have to be any sort of sharp turn, just any sort of curve back and forth. And you're going to feel that the suspension is uh, ha basically has too much roll in it because they have to, without the EKDSS system, you're going to have to make those sway bars uh, smaller in order to balance out the system. On the KDSS version of this, or EKDSS version of the X550, you're going to get those thick sway bars, and you're not going to have this body roll. But this is the first thing that he's complaining about on road, and it's simply unimaginable why Lexus would delete the EKDSS system from all trims of the GX550. The only thing that makes sense is cost cuttings, which is absurd in this class of vehicle. Now here we are in our Lexus GX460, which comes standard, of course, all trims have KDSS. And on road, the system is simply amazing. You have these super thick, rigid uh, anti-roll bars, aka sway bars, that lock up and give you that flat go-kart-like feeling on a big fat SUV like this. For Lexus to remove this casually makes no sense at all. Toyota loves to talk on and on about their Kaizen principle, continual improvement, where this seems, again, to be anti-Kaizen. You would think that if they were going to do Kaizen, they would, at the very least, continue uh, putting EKDSS on all trims of the GX550. Or at the very least, let's say it was a cost-cutting thing and they didn't want to put EKDSS on all trims of the GX550. Well, why not carry over this old KDSS system and slap that on the, quote, lower trims of the GX550? So at least the lower trims would have still have the amazing original KDSS system. But nope, they didn't do that either. It actually doesn't feel as sharp dynamically as the previous Gen GX. It feels a little bit heavier, a little bit softer. It's a bit more body roll from the front end. But I'm not as blown away by the dynamics, at least at lower speeds, as I was with the GX460. And they're hoping instead that you're dumb. And they're hoping that, like this YouTuber, they're hoping that you just don't notice. But the first thing this YouTuber noticed, who is viral, the first thing he noticed is how floppy it is and how flawed the anti-roll bars are in comparison to the previous KDSS GX460. And about a year ago, I said, if there's one thing that's a problem with the current Lexus or the upcoming Lexus GX550, it is that they took away EKDSS. That makes no sense when this is probably the greatest off-road and on-road invention as far as trucks and SUVs are concerned in this century, in the past 50 years, literally. So Lexus has got to stop playing around with these trims of GX550 and playing around with people's intelligence. The no third row in the overtrail, that's forgivable. The larger size, that's whatever, that's forgivable. But to deny the consumer the EKDSS system except for one select top tier trim, when in the past all GX came with KDSS, that was the GX experience. To then delete that is the opposite of Kaizen. It is not Kaizen at all. It has nothing to do with Kaizen. It's negative Kaizen, anti-Kaizen. You get what I'm rambling about. It is not Kaizen at all. It's a huge step backwards. I want you to keep in mind that the original KDSS system 
came out on the GX470. So the old school GX470, which you see here, this thing up here, KDSS came out on a GX originally, not the Land Cruiser 200, not the Land Cruiser 100. EK, or excuse me, KDSS came out first on the Lexus GX, aka the Land Cruiser Prado. So <laughs> KDSS has been a GX staple since the dawn or genesis of GXs. To remove this makes no sense. And on top of that, I cannot get over how the reviewer, the first thing he noticed is how stupid the suspension on this brand new GX550 felt to him compared to the outgoing old generation. How on earth can you justify such tomfoolery, Lexus? Lexus, you screwed up. You know you done screwed up. <laughs> Lexus, <laughs> you know you screwed up. <laughs> it's simply unexcusable to have a viral YouTuber call you out the first moment he sits his butt in your brand new GX550 and says that the suspension is worse than the previous year. You've got to think about that logically, objectively, and realize how just fail that is objectively fail uh, someone is objectively saying that it is worse than the previous year it's not supposed to go that way it's supposed to go you know forward not backwards kaizen the absolute biggest wow factor that we or anybody gets from their lexus gx460 is when they first get into it and they either go on road or off road and they realize that the sway bars are disconnecting and flexing. And off-road, that means more articulation. But on-road, it means that the, the vehicle just handles insanely, insanely, insanely flat. And it is so impressive to experience in real life. The fact that most L, uh, GX550 buyers are now going to be robbed of this phenomenal on-road experience with EKDSS is simply unforgivable it's a huge step backwards and unfortunately despite what lexus thought as you saw with the uh youtuber driving <laughs> his initial impressions it's it's not gonna f it's not gonna be lost on them it's not gonna go over their heads they're not gonna go oh i i don't notice any difference here it feels all good to me <laughs> no to the contrary it's going to end up being the first thing that the driver notices so it is a, a in lexus's best interest to seriously listen to what people are saying stop playing around and cheapening the features on the lexus gx 550 make it like the gx 460 which threw pretty much everything at you especially the core features <laughs> such as EKDSS. I know I'm rambling, I know I'm repeating, but you've got to realize that when a casual test driver hops into this thing and says there's body roll on it, when there's a fix for that, when there's been a fix for that, <laughs> for who knows how many years, called KDSS, and you've willfully decided to delete that, for reasons unknown, it just doesn't make any sense.